Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. So I just got my new Ender Pro 3 and I wanted to show you guys how to level the battle with it. It's a little bit different than a couple of the printers I had in my past. It does not have the uh, manual level option. You have to move the actual uh, print head around. So let's go ahead and power this thing up and get started. All right, while that's turning on, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe. It'll really help this channel out. Now, for the actual leveling process, um, I like to use cardstock. It's just a sheet from uh, just a bunch of crafting supplies my wife has. But it's pretty much the perfect height, and it's a little bit more um, durable or, and rigid than just your standard printer paper. So this is a really great option if you have any. If not, you can get away with a thin index card or just really thick printer paper. You're looking for about a one millimeter um, gap. All right, so now that this is on, let's go ahead and auto home it. So go to the control, go to prepare, and auto home. And this is a good test to make sure that you have everything set up right as well. If this is a brand new printer, like this one is, this is the first time I've auto-homed it and it is working as expected, so that's great. All right, so as you can see, it auto-homed over to the left here and at the bottom. Next, we're gonna want to disable the stepper motor. So go to prepare and then down to disable steppers. Now, this is an important part. If you do not disable the steppers, you will eventually wear out the control board in them and then have to replace them. So just take the extra 30 seconds and just disable them. All right. Now we can go ahead and move these to the first spot. We really want to get about one inch in on all of the corners and then center. Then I typically go through the process two or three times. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so move this over and then move this back. We're about one inch in here. And then we'll take our cardstock, slide it under, and then adjust these knobs here so that we are raising the print bed or leveling it based on where you're at. All right, it looks like this bed is too far off level to just jump on this one. So let's go ahead and start with the back here. Like I said, I have not leveled this before. This is straight out of the box. So it's gonna be a little bit more to it than just re-leveling it between prints. All right, so now we can And then these wheels are really easy to turn. Makes the process easy. All right, so here, a little bit too tight. All right, so there we go. That part is good. You want to get it so that you're barely scraping and the cardstock can slide under. So if you can see here, it's scraping just a tad bit. We're getting a little bit of contact but you're still able to slide the card. So that part is good. Let's move over to the other side here. Um, all right, so this is too low. It was kind of scraping as I was going. I'm sorry, too high. Let me go to load a little bit. All right, so we'll take the card stock and do the same thing. There we go. We are good there. Now let's move back up to the front. All right, so the card is now sliding just about perfect. There we go. All right, now if we go back over to where we tried to start, I should be able to balance this side out. Let's hope.
Yep, perfect. All right, and then we'll want to move it to the center. Make sure that it looks good there. And it's a little bit high. All right, so because we made some really large adjustments, it really offsets some of the other sides as we were making um, a couple of them. So we want to run back through the process at least one more time, maybe twice, just to make sure everything is good. If you're having to make large adjustments on the second pass, you're going to want to run through at least one more pass after that. See, I still have to make a decent adjustment here because the bed was so far off level. All right, we're good there. All right, we're good there. Hope we are scraping going across. So let's go ahead and make a couple adjustments. Okay, we're good there now. Let's go back over here. And we are too high. All right, we're good now. So because of the amount of changes I had to make that time around, I'm gonna run through the process one more time. So just bear with me here. Okay, we're good there now. That was just a little adjustment. Right, we're good there. Again, just a little adjustment was needed. Turned it the wrong way the first time there. So I had to readjust, but there wasn't much needed. All right, we're good there now. And then back here. We are good. So let me just bring this to the middle, make sure everything checks out. Yep, we're looking good. All right, so now that we got all the points leveled, let's go ahead and rehome this. So go back to prepare, auto home. And And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you have a completely level bed. So once you start printing, you're probably going to level the bed between every two to three prints. Um, my other printer, I've got a TAS 6, it actually levels it on every print, but that's a bit excessive unless you're really wanting to get the best print, make sure everything's level. Um, I wouldn't discourage you from leveling between every print, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary, so that's your choice there. 
All right, so that's all we have for today. Um, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.